It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being here today. It, it's a Friday and it's it's Valentine's Day weekend and uh, it's President's Day on Monday. So we got a big weekend coming up. It's afternoon on a Friday. I am feeling frisky. So we are going to do another reaction video today. And guess what? The, um, the Nightwish fans have spoken. And spoken loudly, I might say. Thank y'all for the for the love. Uh, we're gonna go back and do my second reaction to a Nightwish song today, and this one is going to be called "The Greatest Show on Earth." That's quite a title. It says with Richard Dawkins. That is intriguing to me. Uh, it says official live, and it's from the band's YouTube page from July of last year. This is a long track, y'all, almost 21 minutes. So grab a snack. Uh, I will try to uh, keep my uh, thoughts to a relative minimum, but we're gonna react to what we hear and I'm gonna try to keep up. Uh, this looks like there's segmented portions of this. So they're obviously thinking of this as a suite or a collection of general um, ideas that are segmented out through this longer piece. I am uh, looking forward to trying to follow along with them and see uh, where the rabbit hole takes us. So, without any further delay, this is Nightwish, the greatest show on earth live. Here we go. I've played some piano stuff kind of like that. Um, it's using this this mode of uh, it's, it's the melody is a starts a fourth above the um, above the root. I think this is in D minor, and it's like ya da 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 four three two three melodically is what that sounds like. Um, it's all over kind of a static chord. It's setting a nice tone. I like that. Let's keep going. Same idea, new key. Yeah. Same melodic idea, just over, uh, I think it went to G minor as a key area. Yeah, I think. Sunday, right now. This is nice, it's a lengthy introduction that sets up kind of an expansive palette that they can use to do their piece. I got a feeling they're gonna go and do some cool stuff. By the way, this is really cool in terms of the way that it's shot and edited together. There they go. Sounds great. I like the screens, looks cool. Fans, help me out. Are Do they have uh, folks playing in the band and playing like on the keyboards and cueing all of those orchestral sounds? Or is that something that's uh, recorded, pre-recorded and played along with them um, as they play? Uh, and if that's the case, do they have it in their ear and all that sort of stuff? Logistically, I'm interested in that because those are quite lovely sounds. Um, and they sound great in terms of uh, an orchestra uh, in a rock uh, context. I would love to hear more about that. Similar to the last one that I did, it's it's like a symphonic uh, movie type score sound uh, to me. Nice 
harp. Melodic guitar. I love when the guitars play melodic stuff and not just shredding. Those are real recordings. That that horn sound, unless they've got a, a sound patch, I don't. Kind of back to the beginning with that melodic idea. This is impeccably mixed. Sounds wonderful, y'all. Mm. Reinforcing the same melody. to stop it for a second the, they are establishing one thing i mean they're calling this the greatest show on earth right and they're establishing uh just a great amount of authority on uh, what they're going to be putting forth this is a very well uh constructed and thought out uh, introduction and uh i'm excited where it's gonna go uh we're gonna keep going she stole my coat used to fit me. It's a sequence. Yeah. They were able to, they used to, that's cool. They use a sequen uh, when I said sequential, uh, they're taking a melodic idea and they're uh, immediately repeating it at different pitch levels and that helps them move keys. It's one way to to uh, to, to modulate or to, to, to move the key from from one place to another. So now I, it sounds like they're in E minor. I'm gonna back this up just a hair and uh, let's see the pipes player. This is cool, y'all. Stars falling from the sky, celestial. Sounds like the Abyss soundtrack with the voices. That is over E. Mm. It's a major four chord. It's a lovely sound. It's almost Dorian modish. One, and uh, they meant something different here. After sleeping through a hundred million centuries, we have finally opened our eyes on a sumptuous planet, sparkling with color, bountiful with life. Within decades, we must close our eyes again. Isn't it a noble and enlightened way of spending our brief time in the sun to work at understanding the universe and how we have come to wake up in it? Cool. Cool. Woo! Too much. 
Uh, that was uh, Richard Dawkins, I'm guessing. Uh, th uh, that's from one of his books. I'm, I'm, I think uh, that's a real. I think I've heard that before. Uh, this is cool. I'm enjoying this so far. Let's keep going because this is a long song. We're only six minutes in. Here we go. Step over E. Yadam, badam, badam is F to E. It's setting up a minor key again, but it's yadam, badam, badam. It's a half step. It's like an F to an E. I I I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, powerful. This is cool. Uh, so life coming forth looks like uh, turtles and water life and everything. So this is going to be uh, a history of the planet. Uh, I um, <laughs> based on uh, uh, what they've done so far. I wonder how the humans make out. We shall see. modulate a lot by a minor third that went I think back down to E uh, all of these relationships are like minor thirds um, I am not a good guitar player and I'm not I don't have very good facility on the guitar I wonder if that's just an easy uh, connection to make to the minor third of a chord and just flip and go into a new key from that uh, yeah interesting off we go How they get from E to B flat minor? That was cool. That just went straight there. I need to hear that again. We're backing up. Uh, let's see, we're currently about eight minutes. We're going to go back thirty seconds to seven and a half minutes. I need to hear that again. They're in E. Um, I think it's because of the half step relationship between the E and the F. They're able to jump to B flat minor. Uh, that's that's a really neat uh, thing. That's a that's the coolest. Um, harmonic thing they've done uh, that I've heard since, uh, or since I started watching. Girl. Huh. 
So he is playing that. He's the string parts. I can't do that with my hair. <laughs> the little of it I have left. Yeah, they're just. Yeah, the, the sections are are interesting, and I like the the overall flow of it. But um, uh, I'm just pointing out from a compositional standpoint, the main idea of the song just keeps moving. Uh, they're just moving these blocks from one spot to another. I heard that in in uh, their other song that that I've heard uh, reacted to. Um, it's, it just feels like they're taking these these chords that they're working on and just just going a third away or or going a third away or, or um, and and that's what all composers really do is we try to pick these uh, pivot points that we can work to. It's it's a little bit different than a way a classically trained poser might be um, instructed or taught how to do. It's more modal um, than. Uh, than anything else that I've heard, but uh, it's really interesting to hear how these sounds go from 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 one area to another and uh, and follow it. It's 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 interesting to try to follow it, uh, at least in that way. Um, yeah, this is awesome, y'all. Okay, we're almost halfway through. Keep at it. Let's go. The Flat six, flat seven, one in G minor, and then straight down to minor third to E minor. That's cool. So are we conjuring creation? Look at all those people. These extensions that are all kind of over one chord uh, uh, give the piece room to breathe and room to uh, expound on on where they're at and then and do the storytelling with with all of the uh, the background visuals and uh, and all the riffs within those those chords or those key areas um, really effectively. is evolution we're, do we're doing still over E that was an A flat now that that's gl glorious that's uh, if that sounds eerie to you, there's a musical reason why. I think that high note was a B flat from her, and that would be a diminished fifth over this entire key area in the bass, which is an E. Now the B, the E is way down here, and she's way the hell up here on that B flat. And there's interesting ways you can fill in to make it sound uh, consonant or dissonant. But that sounds really eerie, and I think that's that diminished fifth uh, from the root to that fifth. It was an awesome high B flat, by the way. Right. We graduated out of the seas to the land. Predatory.
she is a rock star. Y'all. Different keyboard. That's cool. The show is still here The single one of your fathers died young The handy travelers out of Africa Let us see the of the A4 You break the fantasy To an energy To self-destruct him Weaponry And should I gotta get He breaks in the past And a misty crowd of the hunter That keyboard part is awesome. That's really cool. This is really neat. In Terra Yonia, the cradle of all, the architectural understanding, the human looks so very symphonic. So you can you can write all that stuff for a full orchestra and it sounds really, really cool. Okay, so we graduated in the 20th century. That would explain all of the red and fire and explosions. Up a fourth, A minor. almost like unsolved mysteries it's so they, they they've been in a minor for a little bit uh in e and a and in this last little bit they were in a minor i think and then that they went to the fifth which is that e and they're doing a double leading tone to it um dun, da, 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 dum, ba, dee, da, dum. and that sort of centers this on e but it does it in a way that you're d not sure if it's going to actually stay there or where it's going to go Having the half step on both sides is a compositional tool to kind of highlight the note, but not to give away uh, where the music's going to go. Because normally we'd have like on one side of it a whole step and another side of it a half step uh, based on uh, the, the key or the scale that we're in. But having a double leading tone to it, an upper leading tone and a lower leading tone, is um, is a neat way to sort of disguise where the music's gonna go next. I'm really into this, y'all. High flute. Huh, do you see Ray Chant? Is that the minuet, is that box minuet in G over E minor and some other noise? That's cool. Was the python, the snake, a reference to the creation story in the Bible? Another question. There's a lot of stuff in there. I'm sorry I keep stopping it. There's so much stuff. I mean, um, the the train line that they were showing, was that uh, World War II, like taking uh, the poor folks on the trains? Um, yeah, this is, this is rad, y'all. Paints, oil. And there's sand <laughs> It's the right key. That's cool.
start here. <laughs> so the human race isn't going to be long for this world. That's cool. E minor. I can't even do it that high. Me Ray Doe, right down there. Great way to end the show, too. We were here. It's like writing your band's name on the bathroom stall. <laughs> you did it, dude. You made it. At least to this part. Confetti. Wow. It still says we got like five minutes left. Makes us lucky. Most people are never going to die because they're never going to be born. Hmm. The potential people who could have been here in my place, but who will in fact never see the light of day, outnumber the sand grains of Sahara. Certainly those unborn ghosts include greater poets than Keats, scientists greater than Newton. We you know this it's profound. Because the set of possible people allowed by our DNA so massively exceeds the set of actual people. Okay, so it's their curve call. That is a cool way to take a curtain. get over the sound that they get on this. It's remarkable. Take a bow, y'all. And I would have loved to have been in that crowd. Voices sound like they're actually recorded too, the voices in the track. Well done, y'all. Oh, Dawkins is actually there. That's cool. Thus, from the war of nature, from famine and death, the most exalted object which we are capable of conceiving, namely the production of the higher animals, directly follows. There is grandeur in this view of life, with its several powers originally breathed into a few forms or into one. And that whilst this planet has gone cycling on according to the fixed law of gravity, from so simple a beginning, endless forms most beautiful. Endless forms most beautiful. And most wonderful. Endless have been 
and are being evolved. Mm. That's cool. That's it? Wow. Um, was that was that last little bit uh, that that he did? Um, was that uh, part of the actual song or was that just something special because he was there? Um, I am shook, y'all. I have to watch that again. I, th I think I was able to follow it okay. The keys they're picking aren't too hard to follow. Um, and once you get used to hearing those, those um, modulations by minor third, they're pretty easy to pick out. Um, I want to really go back and uh, print out or follow along with all the lyrics. I did, I did look up some of the lyrics uh, 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 and read like a basic amount. I figure if I'm doing these reactions, I should at least do a little bit of research to have me prepared for what I'm about to hear but yet leave enough questions unanswered that I'm able to react to what I hear in real time. Uh, and then go back and fill in uh, later on. That's, that's kind of an academic way of, of researching uh, new music or mu new music to you. So uh, Nightwish fans, um, I wish I would have met you like uh, 10, 15 years ago and been along for the ride for the last decade uh, because uh, this is wonderful music that has been missing from my rotation. So, oh, wonderful stuff. We have been going on long enough. If you are still with me, thanks so much for hanging around. Uh, have a happy Friday, happy weekend, and stay tuned for more reactions and more videos. And uh, thanks again for being with us. And we will see you next time on The Daily Doug.